Christy here from Okanagan School of Natural Health Care and today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about thrush and what I use to treat it. So I really like these two products by Red Horse, uh, Artemud and Hoof Stuff. One is an antifungal hoof clay and the other one, um, it's a zinc oxide uh, natural oil based product with a cotton fiber inside of it so it really helps it stay. And I'll show you how I use these together to combat thrush in my horses. So this horse has what I would call a deep central sulcus thrush in the back of her frog right in here. It's not too, too bad. Her other front foot is actually a little bit worse, but I wanna stay on top of it and make sure we're getting a consistent heel first landing. When it gets too deep and starts to affect her, she'll start to land on her toe, which I definitely don't want. So I start by cleaning out the hoof really well, get out all the dirt out of the collateral grooves, and down in this central sulcus, being really careful in here because this is a sensitive area for her, or for any horse for that matter. So I start by cleaning the hoof up. To pack this central sulcus, I'm gonna use my hoof stuff, and I've just kind of torn a little piece off. You can see the cotton fiber mixed inside the white ointment. I'm gonna place that in her central sulcus, and I'm gonna use my hoof pick to kind of pack it in. And as I push it down in that crack, I've, I've got to kind of hold it so it doesn't come out with the hoof pick. But I've found this is the best technique to get it deep in that groove. And again, I'm being cautious. I'm not pushing so hard that it hurts. And you can kind of see it sticking out in the hairline up here. That's what I want. I mean, I want to mash it in as best as I can, but I want to make sure I cover the whole surface of the crack and deep down inside there. So I pack the hoof stuff in like that. And then I get my Artemud, and I use Artemud in every single one of my horses every single day. Whether they have thrush or not, I use it as a preventative. So I put it down into the collateral grooves, and I push it in, and then I kind of slide my finger out to take the excess off, just like that. I like to go all the way around the frog, like that there, and any little excess I have, I'll just kind of cover the frog. And if I'd had a horse that didn't have this deep central sulcus crack, but instead it was just a regular uh, central sulcus that wasn't too deep, I would just use the Artemud in it instead of the hoof stuff. But for her, I really like a combination of the both. <laughs> 